Hey guys, so today we have a much anticipated tutorial for you. We're going to show you how to use Lockbot, which we did a few days ago, to make your own customized tutorial the way you want to have it. And while the tutorial I'm making now isn't going to be the greatest of quality, it's kind of just being shown for simplicity's sake to allow, allow you guys to make your customized unlock screen the way you want it. So first, obviously, you're going to open up Lockbot and go to New Theme you'll be presented with a bunch of different styles. We're going to do iPhone for this one. There you can see the basic iPhone and if you click menu it'll bring up this. We're going to change the background first. So you just click background and it'll ask you where you want to get your file from. We chose SD card because we made a folder especially for this tutorial. You can see we named all of our files by what they are just to keep things simple. So now we're going to add the background. And uh, there you can see it is. There's a, the background we chose and now we're going to change the slider. So you go to style for the slider and it'll ask you what type. Obviously we're going to use iPhone and we're going to change the background first. There you can see the images that we have and slider background obviously to keep things simple again. And now we have to change the slider. You can see we opened up SD card, slider. It's really all the same thing once you get the hang of it. It's just kind of knowing what to put where and what types of files to use. Uh, now we're going to change the clock. The, ch the clock has a lot of options. You can change the color, whether it's analog or digital, uh, whether it has a background or not. Um, you can change obviously the, the way the clock and date looks from having the month first to the day first. Uh, we're going to go with month, day, year. And um, you can see here we're going to change the uh, color of it. It's pretty simple to change, um, just common sliders or you can use the color wheel by tapping on it. It's up to you. Uh, all the way, having all of them to the right is white, having all the way to the left is black and any color in between you can get on the color wheel. And you can see now we're just changing the time. Same thing, you can change the size of the time, you can change the color. We're gonna go with a red to white for the time and then white to red for the date just because I like the way that looks um, it's not plain white plain red or it's kinda got the best of both worlds if you will um, after you set that you, you can see you just switch back and forth to time or to date at the bottom and um, move it around to where you want it you can have it anywhere on your unlock screen we're gonna go top center just because that's where I like it and now we're gonna change the background the cool thing about having a background is it doesn't have to be plain or boring. You can have really anything you want as long as you put the picture on your phone or get it off the internet. Um, you can see here we're just going to do a little shout out to our school. So I put the Muhlenberg College there. That's technically my clock background but as you can see it doesn't have to be anywhere near the clock. And then the last thing is to just bring up the menu and click save you'll see uh, it processes for a few seconds and then you're done. The next step that you have to do is to actually set it as your background so you can scroll down to it, make sure it's there, um, preview it, you can see make sure the slider works the way you want it. Notice that sometimes the clock background shifts up a little bit that's something to keep in mind and just play around with it till you get it where you want it. We can see the slider works perfectly and now we just have to set it. Although we don't show it, all you have to do is click menu and playlist and choose the unlock screen that you want for your unlock screen. Um, I'm going to show you another preview of one that I made that I think is a little nicer. It's the one that I use now. Uh, you can see the slider goes across. Really, you can have whatever you want for your slider, but that's one thing I need to note. To get the slider images, they have to be .png files. That's it. I hope you enjoy.